This is what Tom Quinn had to say about Prince Harry. Harry's eviction from Frogmore Cottage was a significant blow, representing a rupture in his relationship with his father, King Charles. Join me as we uncover details on why Quinn had to say this. The recent revelations about Prince Harry's residency change and subsequent eviction from Frogmore Cottage have sparked intense scrutiny and debate in the British media. From accusations of being out of touch to allegations of royal vindictiveness, the saga has revealed deep-seated tensions within the royal family. In an unexpected move, Harry changed Travelist company filings to reflect his move to America, backdating the filing to the date his family was evicted from Frogmore Cottage in June of the previous year. This seemingly innocuous administrative change has reignited the debate over Harry's decision to distance himself from the UK and the royal establishment. Royal experts have weighed in on the issue, with some questioning Harry's official commitment to grubby commercial ventures and perceived abandonment of his British heritage. Tom Quinn, a well-known royal author, has been particularly vocal, implying that the palace is taken aback by Harry's actions and painting a picture of family discord and betrayal. According to Quinn, Harry's eviction from Frogmore Cottage was a significant blow, representing a rupture in his relationship with his father, King Charles. The cottage, which was once thought to be a permanent residence for the Sussexes, became a source of contention, highlighting the growing schism between Harry and the rest of the royal family. According to the New York Post, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been labeled out of touch for believing that Frogmore Cottage would always be there for them, even after leaving royal life in 2020. According to royal author Tom Quinn, Harry, 39, was deeply affected by his father's decision to evict the runaway royals. Harry and Meghan expected Frogmore to always be there for them, even if they only returned to the UK for a few weeks each year and were no longer working royals, Quinn told the Mirror. That assumption reveals how estranged King Charles and his son had become. At the time, few people realized how much of a slap in the face the eviction from Frogmore felt like for Harry. It was the last straw, he told the publication. Harry was enraged and in tears after being evicted from Frogmore. He believed his father had no right to do so and that it was purely vindictive. Harry was unaware that ceasing to be a working royal would result in the loss of his royal residence. Harry saw it as a cruel rejection, a painful reminder of everything he felt when his father fought with his mother during their long, drawn-out divorce. Quinn continued. After evicting the property, the Sussexes were said to be attempting to recoup the $2.8 million they spent renovating it. According to Quinn, Harry's anger and sense of betrayal stem from his belief that his father had no right to evict him from property gifted to him by his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II. In Harry's eyes, the eviction was not only a practical consequence of his decision to step down from royal duties, but also a personal affront, reminiscent of his parents' painful divorce. The fallout from the Frogmore Cottage saga has revealed contrasting public perceptions of Harry. While some see him as a privileged individual ranting about lost entitlements, others see him as a victim of familial strife and institutional failure. Despite the animosity surrounding the cottage's eviction, the Sussexes have attempted to recoup the costs of renovations, complicating the narrative of entitlement and extravagance. Harry's willingness to shoulder financial responsibilities while maintaining his integrity in the midst of family strife demonstrates his desire for autonomy and self-sufficiency. As Frogmore Cottage sits vacant, its significance as a symbol of royal privilege and familial strife becomes clear. The unresolved tensions surrounding its eviction serve as a poignant reminder of the complexities of royal life and the long-lasting impact of familial strife. Finally, the story of Frogmore Cottage captures Prince Harry's fraught relationship with the royal family. As accusations fly and tensions rise, the full extent of Harry's estrangement from his family and desire for independence becomes clear. It is unclear whether Frogmore Cottage will remain a vacant relic or a symbol of reconciliation, but its legacy will undoubtedly live on in the annals of royal history. In other stories, the Sun is suing ITV for the Princess Kate Windsor Farm Store video. According to an article, on March 22nd, the Princess of Wales announced that she was receiving preventative chemotherapy after cancer cells were discovered more than a month after her abdominal surgery. That video effectively ended a weeks-long, shambolic news cycle rife with speculation about manipulated photos, strange photo op setups, and one truly bizarre Windsor Farm Store video. Just days before Kate allegedly filmed the cancer video, the Sun reported that Kate and William were seen shopping and walking around unaided at Windsor Farm Store. Nobody believed the story at the time. 24 hours later, The Sun and TMZ, both owned by Murdoch, 
published a video and stills from it of Kate and William speed walking out of the Windsor Farm store. Everything went downhill from there. First and foremost, there was widespread online speculation that the two people in the video were not Kate and William. Then Christopher Boozy stepped in, demonstrating that the video's source lacked credibility and that the people in the video were almost certainly not Kate and William. The Sun's editor also made it sound like the video was organized or staged with palace approval. The entire controversy was washed away, forgotten, and buried with Kate's cancer diagnosis. Up until now, The Sun is suing ITV for the Farm Store video, claiming that it is their intellectual property. According to The Independent, the publisher of The Sun newspaper has filed a high court legal action against ITV and ITN over the use of video showing the Princess of Wales at a farm shop in Windsor. The footage, obtained by The Sun, showed Kate and the Prince of Wales in public after her surgery, amid her absence from public life. A filing to the Intellectual Property and Enterprise Court was made by News Group Newspapers Limited against ITV and ITN on Monday. A spokeswoman for the broadcaster and news company said, ITV and ITN will strongly resist this claim. It is understood by the PA news agency that the claim relates to the video, in which Kate is seen at Windsor Farm Shop, close to her home, Adelaide Cottage. The footage from March 18th shows the princess with her hair down, wearing a black jacket and leggings, chatting with William, and carrying a large white bag. I do not know enough about intellectual property law to comment on what is happening here. Traditionally, a media outlet will purchase the rights, possibly even exclusive rights, to photos and videos. It is entirely possible that the Murdoch-owned outlets, TMZ and The Sun, purchased that guy's video under a very exclusive rights contract, with The Sun now owning the entire video. It is also possible that The Sun's lawsuit against ITV revealed something completely different about who staged the video and who owned it from the beginning. That is all from today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. I have been your host, Dave, and I am out.